Another night. It's, I think, more subtle, and that's where people get confused. Is if somebody is completely disembodied and they're hearing themselves talking, I've known some schizophrenics. I've known some of the early night psychotic state when I was talking to them. Dark History and Horror and Convention, other, Champaign, uh, Illinois, but, but 2019. That is their reality. This is my booth. I'm not going to tell them this isn't happening, this isn't real. Because what you're telling them isn't real. That is where they're at. That's where we won't be able to understand. Because we're as uneducated people that have not understood or embraced our gifts. That's where we don't. That's why I have a hard time understanding what these guys are saying. But I'm really trying. And that's where I want you guys to try it. Is to try to view it like you're watching a TV screen. When you guys are telling me that it is this. And this is what I'm feeling. I can start to put that in my head a little bit. Or I, I can get that. I can see how that will happen. So it's not the movies, you know, the poltergeist type of things where everything is is blasted at you. You guys are hearing it. And no, it's a little more like subtle, that. and that's maybe what makes some people scared of it when they're trying to get their it, issues because it's kind of subtle. Yeah. I'm sure it's this way with safe too. Those of us who get, those of us who use it constantly, yeah. We can walk into a room and we instantly know who has gifts and who uses it. And there's a different feeling, there's a vibration that we can pick up on. So if somebody comes to me and I'm hearing voices, help me, we can more or less tell right away if they have gift or if they really do need some help. Or if they're testing you. Right, oh yeah. Oh, had that, love those people. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Well, I call myself a skeptic, but the true skeptics that come up, hey, what's the winning lottery number for tomorrow? Or, or hey, I want to lay a line out on the bears. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the first thing I tell everybody. I ain't ever going to get rich on this day. It's just ain't happening. But, no, we've always been skeptics. Gotcha. Oh god! I have people look at me straight in the eye and lie to me and I'll be like, oh, don't you hate this? Because I just found out the other day. Yeah, we talked about the new game of reference stuff I've tried. And I'll let me confess it. She didn't know what she had to do with If I'm taking her to things with bad places now. Hey, you don't want to go anywhere without camera or any background. I know she doesn't know the area. You don't mind. Yeah, I don't know. Right. That's the guy that wants to see the proof. And that's what's so tough about the hat. That's what's so tough about the hat. You got a lot of cool books. Making a YouTube video. I have to. <laughs> this place is cool. Thank you. I will never forgive you. I didn't fear for you. I didn't even notice. That's the way the world sees it. So, perfect example. You don't mind if I take a video, do you? I don't know. I don't know. I went to South Kansas. Where his house was being demolished, it was just a vacant lot. But his site of arrest is on the intersection. YouTube. So close, and I'm not telling her. She knows what happened. Are these suckers free? Sure, yeah. Go ahead, take one. I'm just getting one for my son. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Boxed in high anxiety. Like, what's going on? And that is right there at the intersection when multiple cop cars boxed in Dennis Rader and made the arrest. Video okay? Right oh, please go right ahead. All right. I made him stop in the car because I was going to throw up. It got that bad. Check that out. Yeah, that's a little thing. Our little game. Just making a little couple YouTube <laughs> can, videos. Oh, no, fun. that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> but I know he does it out of love, too. To me, he's kind of taking the place. Thank you. He's a good one. He can go yeah. <laughs> now he does me. So. And I'm, I don't know if you've had that. I mean, Tim's the cool, quiet guy. I don't know him as well. So I don't know if you've had people that maybe want to take a, a tour or go someplace with you and, and hope to yeah. have a gotcha moment, catch you. Those are cool. And you have to explain to them, this is what's happening. And no, I don't know the whole story, but here's what I'm getting. And then they can put it in their head. Oh, wow. Yeah, she does yeah. know what she's talking about. It's just there, yeah. Yeah. Tim does do a it's little bit every once in a while. He'll say, well, what do you think? Why don't we do this? Yeah. I, I used to do that several hours ago. Yeah. Yeah, he's really 
That's cool. So, yeah, that, that usually will happen. There you um, go. Testing types of. I think I, I, I had told that I have some friends who are investigators, and they were able to get a hold of some of this, some materials from a closed FBI case from a serial killer that is now currently serving life. And they walked out from the place. Put a picture of them. I don't know what I've been getting. They bury it. You told me they dug them. I said, how did you get out of here? And I was shocked because I saw the person. This is pretty cool, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's pretty cool. Then you start getting more and more desire to get it. And you come back to the documentary about the CFO. And you're happy you watch it. And I said, stop, stop the video. So you can take it in the paper. One prayer, one prayer, one prayer. And they said, you know what the CFO is going to do. And when you went there, they held up the picture. And it's exactly the way the area is. I don't know if I can let it charge it. Is this for sale? No, that's actually okay. my family. Okay. So, that's cool. Thanks. I, I just directed a uh, production of Ragtime. Okay. Um, and it's a musical that's set at the train of the city. Okay. So we had our cast bring in family photos from that kind of time frame that they had them. Ah. And I had this photo album that came from my mother and her mother and her mother. That worked perfect. So, yeah. yeah. So, and there's some, yeah, please do. And so those photos are from the late 1800s, early 1900s. Yeah, they're really cool. My wife collects that kind of stuff, so I'm like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Thank you. There are some people that have passed on that we can no longer come in contact with or speak with because they have ascended past it. The slave time is over with, they have nothing more to do with it, they have ascended it on there. So they're just so hostile to speak with them. Yeah, they're, they're gone. They're on to their next life world. This life is gone. Um, so everything I was picking up on was from him, and I was tapping into him. And it was the first time that I had ever tapped into a this is a living person, especially a serial killer. And yes, I did. I got violently ill and got sick for three days. Because it's it's like it's like you just get violent Hello. Oh, um, so sorry. Um well, in that vein, does that drive you to want to try to work more with officials at the first meeting? And then mm -hmm. the second part, because I remember my book, being more of the scientific type of mind that I think I have and the behavioral science and so on. So far, I warm up and everybody popping the guy. Hi, how are you? Doing? Pretty, pretty good, how are you? Are you good? Good to be the original to yeah. But they're, they're hiding it within the client. What? Pretty good, how are you? I'm just making a little YouTube video. Video away. Cool. Okay, if I take a video. Okay. I liked your speech yesterday too. A lot of information that you don't hear about on the. Oh, this is so 
I got your back. Is that what it says? I got your back. Yeah. <laughs> I got a screwed up back and I seen it at like Goodwill. I'm like, I'm getting that. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Yeah. Thank you. I wish I had your quick win. I wish I could just, you know, all the stunning things out. I wish I could come up with it. I'm like, dude, it's not the blessing. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? What's that? What's that? Just talking about the shame of the show. I want the football when it's on. I got guys at work with us. I don't want to change it. You know, it's like addicted to it. Uh, whatever. I was here. My brother was here. He loved that. He had a giant rock on the corner. He's a big fan. 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 You guys say for sure that you don't get in touch. Anyway, uh, I don't know what Send a friend to press the mute, etc. Thank and you. Side. That's the exorcism of Emily Rose. The exorcism of Emily Rose exorcist box. Yeah. Yeah. Haunted and bizarre. Christopher and Rachel. I mean, I got your name from here, and I'll give you my name. It's a public page of there anyway. I think that now I have to go to my nice, awesome man. I'm not getting to it. I'm not getting to it. Hello. Hello. I had to make a YouTube video before everybody starts packing up. Well, I won't start packing up for about two hours. So. I won't be. I've seen a few people are, but we're still hanging in there. Yeah, no, I uh, take what you can get. I never pack up before the end of the show. I wouldn't either. Every little bit counts. <laughs> 